In this lecture, we will discuss about ozonolysis of alkyne. Basically, triple bond in alkyne can be cleaved by two ways. So, if I want to cleave this bond, it can be cleaved by two ways. One is to use KMnO4 in basic medium, that is KOH and solution require heating and the second way is to use ozonolysis. These two way are called oxidative cleavage of alkyne. Oxidative because the final product is oxidized that is acid. So, final product is acid. If you remember if I have an alkyne and if this is treated with KMnO4 basic medium heat and further if it is acidified it will give two acid. Similarly if we treat this alkyne with ozone in the presence of water, this bond will get broken and we will have two acid. Now, let us consider the following possibility we can have my alkyne is symmetrical. So, we can have a symmetrical alkyne and if we do ozonolysis, we will get two mole of same acid. So, if I take one mole of alkyne, finally I will have two mole of same acid. That is in this case we will get only one product. Now, let us say if I have unsymmetrical alkyne. and if we do ozonolysis, we will have two different acid. So, this time we are getting two different acid. If I have a terminal alkyne, Now, if I do ozonolysis, in this case, we will get one molecule of acid and one molecule of formic acid. So, formic acid is the product if my alkyne is terminal. So, this can be used as a test. If I say alkyne on ozonolysis gives formic acid. This means alkyne is terminal. Now, this reaction differs from KMnO4. If you have a terminal alkyne, and if you use KMnO4 basic medium, heating is also required, acidification it will give RCOOH plus one molecule of CO2. So, in this case, in case of KMnO4, we are getting one molecule of CO2. but in case of ozonolysis we are getting formic acid. So, there is a difference. Now, let us say if I have fourth situation that is if I have both side hydrogen and if I do ozonolysis 
I will get 2 mole of formic acid. Now again this differs from KMnO4. If this alkan is treated with KMnO4 in basic medium, In this case we will get 2 mole of carbon dioxide. Now next possibility we can have a terminal alkyne that is so, sorry that is a cyclic alkyne. So we have alkyne in ring and if we do ozonolysis once again I have to break this bond and we will get acid. So finally we are getting an acid but this time one mole of reactant gives one mole of product. So this can also be used as a test if I am getting one mole of product from one mole of reactant gives one mole of product. This means alkyne is cyclic. So we have a cyclic alkyne. So this can be used as a test. In case of alkene, we have reductive ozonolysis and we have oxidative ozonolysis. But for alkyne, we does not have something like reductive or oxidative. There is nothing like in case of alkyne, it does not have oxidative, so there is nothing like oxidative and reductive workup. In both cases, it will give acid. So if I use either oxidative or we use reductive, we will have acid. So in both cases, alkene gives acid. Basically reaction of ozonolysis can be used to locate the position of triple bond. So ozonolysis is used to locate the position of triple bond in a given compound. For example, let us discuss this problem. So question says oxidative cleavage can help to determine the position of triple bond in alkynes. An unknown alkyne undergo the oxidative cleavage of to give two adipic acid cleavage to give adipic acid and two equivalent of acetic acid. Propose the structure of alkyne. So we have an alkyne. Let us say alkyne is A and if we do ozonolysis it gives adipic acid plus 2 molecule of acetic acid. So we have CH24 COOH and this side also we have COOH and we are getting 2 molecule of acetic acid. Now to write reactant it is very easy. You see these two compounds are coming from by breaking the triple bond. So we are getting 3 product. So we are getting 3 mole of product. So if I take 1 mole of reactant this gives 3 mole of product. This means 
we must have two triple bond this is possible only if, if I have two triple bond we'll get one segment this is another segment this one is another segment so this is possible only if my compound contains two triple bonds so reactant contains has two triple bond so what we do we will try to make two triple bonds so we have CH2 4 COOH and we have one molecule of acetic acid let us attach this side and one molecule of acetic acid we can attach this side now it is easy to write product a reactant because I know these are the product we are getting so we will have this plus this plus this so what we can do we can make a triple bond where we have acid group so if I remove this acid group and we can make a triple bond between these two carbon similarly we can make a triple bond between these two carbon because acid is coming from triple bond so just simply writing acid group facing to each other so acid group are facing to each other and then we have to sim simply remove acid and then we have to make triple bond between carbon so we have to convert acid into alkyne acid to alkyne so what is the meaning we want to say we have CS3 we have carbon then we have to add a triple bond here then we have carbon CH24 then we can again add a triple bond then CS3 so this is the initial reactant we have now let us say next part this says an unknown alkyne undergo oxidative cleavage to give the following triacid plus one equivalent of propanoic acid propose the structure of alkyne so if we do ozonolysis we are getting this triacid plus one equivalent of propanoic acid so you see we are getting only two product so this one and this one but it contains three acid group one two three four acid group so let us write so we have B part A on ozonolysis this gives CH27 COOH and this side we have CHCOOH plus we have two RCA propanoic acid CH3 CH2 COOH now we are getting four acid groups so we have four acid group this means we must have two triple bond because one triple bond after oxidative cleavage will give two acid groups so we have four acid groups means we have two triple bond now we are having only two products so this means there must be a ring so we can make a eight member ring one or nine member ring one here seven here seven plus one eight plus one nine plus one ten so we can make a ten member ring and then we can add these two acid group together we have to add these two acid group together and then we can add these two acid group together so let us try so this is a 10 member ring let us say if I have a triple bond here then we have a carbon here then we have a triple bond 
and then we have C CH3 so you see what we are doing we are adding these two COOH group and these two COOH group if I add these two COOH group we'll have 10 member rings 7 8 9 10 and in this case we will have 3 carbon 1 2 3 4 carbon so we have to have one more CH3 so here we will have one more CH3 so this is CH2 CH3 so we have we can also check whether this reactant gives the final product or not so if I break these two bond I will have CH3 CH2 COOH that is this product CH3 CH2 COOH now we will have one COOH group this side so this COOH group is here and we will have one COOH group is here after CH carbon so this carbon is CH so this is the this carbon now we will have COOH group and then we will have carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 CH2 group that is this one and then we will have again 1 COH so this is the COH so basically after the writing reactant we can do ozonolysis and we can check whether we are getting the products or not so this is a check after writing reactant we can check whether we are getting the desired product or not 